Hey guys, Melissa Blevins from melissablevins.com, personal finance coach and blogger, and here to give you a quick little tutorial on how to create a Pinterest cover for your boards. So I'm going to show you really quickly. Like I came across some uh, bloggers' Pinterest profiles, and they had these really adorable, pretty custom uh, covers for their boards. And I was like, how in the world did they do that? I want that on my profile. Because as you can see, Pinterest boards can look super cluttered and it's not very cohesive. There's a lot of, you know, you've got a big mixture of lots of different fonts and colors. And I just am not a fan of that. I'd rather have it as cohesive as possible. So I went ahead and went in there and played with it and started creating my own. This is so much easier than I thought it was going to be. So I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on it and just let you guys know exactly how to do it. So you're gonna need a program called Canva, which is absolutely free unless you want to pay for the upgraded monthly fee of $12.95 for some extra images and fonts and customization, but you don't need all of that for this. You just need the free account. So sign up for a free account if you don't already have one. I'm assuming if you're here already, you probably do have a Canva account. So I'll just show you real quick. I mean, you create a custom dimension. Let's see, I'm gonna come over here and show you where I did that. Right on, on when you first log in, on the top right hand, corner it says use custom dimensions if you click that you can put in custom dimensions you want 800 by 800 so you'll click 800 by 800 design and you'll get a perfect square where you can go ahead and start customizing it exactly how you want it for me I like the pretty feminine pink colors and I love the background of the marble look. So if you go look at some of these backgrounds, you can do all sorts of different stuff. But I clicked on, I can't remember which one I clicked on, but one of these marbles, when you click on it, it's gonna look the color that you see right here. And you can actually go in and change the color. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna undo what I've already done. Then you just add your text over here. You can add a heading. That's where you add your, your words. You can click and change the color. And just make sure you stick with a consistent font and a consistent color scheme. And my personal preference is don't make it too busy in the background. So I've seen profiles that have a background that is a picture of a pretty office desk or you know uh, a, for me personal finance is my niche so um, a picture of a piggy bank or money well you can do that but it just takes I mean it's so busy and it takes away from the focus of the actual wording so I went with this crisp clean pretty marble background and my pretty feminine colors and then dropped my logo down here below so you're gonna save that You'll download it. So I'm gonna do a new one because I've already done banking. My next one I want to do, now let me tell you on this beautiful budget life right here, I cannot create a cover for it because this is actually a group board that I'm a part of. You can tell that it's a group board by the little circle icon with more than one person's face in there. So I can't create a cover for this because I'm not the creator for it. So I'll skip over that one. Best of Melissa Blevins, personal finance coach at melissablevins.com. That's my next one. I've got this in alphabetical order, so that's just the next one that comes up. So I wanna come over here, and I'm going to add another heading, and I'm gonna change the font, and I'm gonna say best of, best of, And my daughter just got home. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, so 
I'm going to add best of, and I'm going to say Melissa Blevins, and I'm obviously going to make this much smaller. Best of Melissa Blevins, and then I'm going to stick with the consistent font, so I want to add another heading, and I'm going to do personal finance coach, and I'm going to change it to that trochi. And let's go with a little bit different of a color right there. So you can play around with your sizes a little bit and just see what looks good and see what fits. And the thing about Canva is you can center it. I love it because it gives you guidelines of where exactly to put everything. So when you're done, I'm saving all of these as Pinterest and then which board they are. So Pinterest, Melissa Blevins best actually best of Pinterest best of Melissa Blevins and then click done you'll click download and save it as a PNG file don't click exit right here while it's doing this because then it won't save so I've done that a couple of times by accident actually that's in the wrong file so that's fun download Okay, so save. Then you're gonna go back to Pinterest and you're gonna click to upload an image. And Pinterest, best of. And then you're going to destination URL, I'm just gonna put my blog. That's what I'm doing on all of these is the destination is my blog. And I already had saved from the previous one. So the, the first one I did was affiliate marketing and I'm going to just take that out. And you can put um, each section here, what you're doing here. So I'm just putting hashtags because hashtags are how your pins are going to be found on Pinterest. All right. So then you're going to save it to the board that it is going to be the cover for. So this is going to be for Best of Melissa Blevins. Click Save, then click See It Now and go make sure it's there. It's there, now go back. And when you go back, you have to, you still have another step to do. And that is to go, you see right here where it's really small? You need to go in here to edit your board and click change the cover and then just hit save changes and save and it will update and you see it made it big it's covering the entire almost the entire front of the actual board and now you have a cohesive look and I can continue on this you know doing this to each of my boards so it doesn't take very long once you get the flow going but I just wanted to do a quick tutorial I hope this was helpful to you and um, let me know if you have any questions down below all right thanks have a good day